if you want your makeup to look more polished, if you want it to last throughout the day, if you want your eyes to look a little bit more lifted, you want your cheeks to look a little bit more lifted, I'm going to show you how to do all that in this video. So it's going to be a, almost a full face because I've already done this side. I'm going to show you what I did on this side. And we're going to get right into the video. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm going to use the uh, Valentina foundation. I'll have everything listed below. So if I don't mention it as I'm doing it, it's more about the technique. It's not about what I'm wearing. But if you're curious, you can check it out in the description where it says more. You just click down there and it has everything that I'm wearing. You can do that in every video that I have. So I'm going to go in with this. And if you have larger pores and you just feel like you need your makeup to sit in more, you you use sponges and you just feel like no matter what you sponge you use, you just feel like it absorbs too much product. Use foundation brushes. They leave a, look streaky and everything. This is what you should do, okay? So you're just going to go ahead and put your foundation on right on your face and we're going to use our fingers. Yep. I have been doing this uh, because this is what I used to do. I'm, not, I'm really rubbing it in here because for some reason I have large pores there. Um, I used to do this before I had a YouTube channel. This is how I used to wear my makeup. It's tricky though. Just where it's tricky because I already did my makeup on the other side. But I wanted you to see it one side first. So you just rub it in. We're still going to use a brush. We're going to use a brush to just buff it out. But I'm telling you, when you use your fingers, it's a game changer. I know it's kind of gross. Uh, I think we all got so used to all the tools and stuff. But sometimes our fingers are the best tools because you can really rub it in. If you have any dry areas on your skin, you're not going to get that, you know, it's not going to buff it away because of those dry patches and what like you will get with a brush. And you don't even have to do this next step, okay? I'm going to show you what I do, but you don't have to do that. So now I'm going to take a makeup brush. The one that I'm using is the new one from Ruffer. This was like a prototype that they came out with. They are going to come out with the synthetic lines. This is a synthetic brush. It's just what I've been using. So I'm just going to go in there and just really, really lightly buff this out. So if you still have any streaks or anything, we're going to blend this in. And I feel like if you have any lines, this is going to help too because when you're applying it with your finger, you can get it in there. And then when you do this, you're going to buff it and you're not going to get that creasing. All right. Next, we're going to do our under eyes. I'm going to put this on first. This is amazing. This is from Colleen Rauch on this for illuminating eye cream. It's a game changer as far as I'm concerned. I have a mirror over here. I'm just going to fix it. And I'm just going to apply this right under my eye. And I'm going to let that sit. Next, before we get to the concealer, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply this. This is an eyeshadow primer. This one is from MAC. Using an eyeshadow primer is really important. And the reason is, one, I've been applying with a brush. So look at what my eye looks like. It's kind of like red, a little bit of redness. I have some veining and everything. So when I do, I don't know why I was doing this. This is not a mirror. <laughs> I need to get a mirror. So one of the things that this is going to do is it's going to make a blank canvas for my eyeshadow. So then it's just going to, the eyeshadow is going to pop. I'm not going to have to keep applying, 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 applying just to cut, conceal my eyes. They're already going to be concealed. And I find this works better, by the way, than a concealer. Something like this just works better, um, in my opinion, in that area than just use a concealer. I just find that this doesn't crease like a concealer does it. It'll help keep your eyeshadow on longer, prevent creasing. It's wonderful. So now we're going to get back to the concealer. Now, if you have tear troughs, this is what you want to do. If you have a lot of discoloration under there, this is what you want to do, too. Trust me, it works. And look at how ready, by the way, look at how that under eye cream, like it looks amazing already. So I'm going to take just a little liner brush. I'm going to take this concealer. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply this right 
on my tear trough, just like this. Now, because I'm using that, um, this brightening, it has that little peach color corrector. So I don't have to use a color corrector. So if you're somebody who has a lot of darkness, you might want to use a color corrector first. You know, something that has like this peach un undertone first. And then apply your concealer if you feel like, it, you know, concealers don't cover it. It's probably because you have to color correct first. It just might be too dark. You don't want to put more and more concealer on because when you put more on, it's going to crease. And then I'm going to take a, um, a brush. I just like to use this one. It's from Clay de Poe. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to start to blend it. But I'm not going to bring it all under there because it's going to crease. So we're going to keep it in this area. I'm just going to keep tapping it here just to kind of thin it out, blend it out. I'm just going to keep it in this area. And then I'm going to start using my finger and get the rest of it. So if you have darkness all under there, you're going to conceal it, but you're going to put it here first and kind of thin it out first. Because again, if you just put it on there, trust me, it's going to crease on you. Now I want to set that. Don't be afraid to set that. Even with mature eyes, you just want to use something that's really fine. This is the one that I really like. I do have the other one in front of me from her that's strictly for under eyes. It's okay. I feel like I like this one better. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And I'm going to do it one more time. I'm tapping off the excess. I promise you I'm not putting a lot on there. And that just helps to blur it out too because I feel like when it's too shiny under there, I feel like you can also, it can also draw attention to that tear trough area. But look at, look at how amazing that looks. Okay, next I want to go ahead and set my foundation. Now, I do use a powder puff sometimes, but I feel like when I use a brush for me personally, I feel like it works better for me. But you can use a powder puff and just press it in. Um, but today I'm going to use a brush. So I'm just using a brush, taking some powder, and I'm just going to tap off the excess. And then I'm going to start tapping it on first. And the reason I like to do it this way, tapping it on, is because some of that foundation might still be wet. And if I go in and just start going like this, it's going to disturb it and it's going to take that foundation off. So we just want to tap it on just like this. And then once we get it on, everywhere that we need to have it on, then you can very lightly with the same brush, you could just start to buff it up. Really lightly, like you're barely, barely touching your face, okay? So now let's do a bronzer. You don't have to do a bronzer. I actually haven't been doing bronzer too much lately, but we're getting into summer, so I'm gonna show you what I like to use. Now I like to use something that's a little bit more subtle that's what I did on this side. I actually have bronzer and blush, but it's very, very subtle. I'm doing it differently than I was doing it before. So I'm just going to use this one. This one's from Sicily. It's more of a gel bronzer. It's very light. It's very natural looking. I'm just going to take it. And what I do is I... Oh, wrong face. And <laughs> I'm the opposite on my, on my monitor. I'm the opposite than I am in real life. So anyways, so I'm going to take it on my cheek. And I'm going to bring it up like this. This is what I do because... I feel like with the sun, if you're in the sun, see, it's going to give you more of a glowy look. You're not going to get like a, it's not going to look like that. So I'm trying to say this is more, I feel like this is pretty universal because it's not, you're not going to get that brown look, but it's okay. And I just kind of bring it up there. You see how I'm getting a glow and I'll just keep adding it until I get enough. And if you get enough, you could even just wear this. Now on camera, it looks a little bit more lighter than it does in person. It's a little bit deeper in person, not much, but um, like I could get away with this and not wear a blush if I wanted to. And it's really glowy and really pretty. Now we're going to do the blush. And the blush, I'm going to put right on top of it. I know it's like you're probably thinking, well, what's, what's the point of doing it? But I just feel like when you do, if you do a bronzer, you could do it on its own like that. Um, but it also deepened the blush a little bit more and just give it a, a different look than if I just did it on its own. If you have a really dark color, then it probably won't show through. But I'm going to use this one. This one is from RMS. And I, you guys know that I love their blushes. And you see how I'm applying this, by the way? I'm going right on top. 
And look at how nice and glowy that is. And I like to apply it right here on top, the top part of my cheek, I should say, because it just lifts my face. You don't want to go too low with this. You really want to keep it up there. And that, like I said, I even bring it up here too. I can bring a little bit there because I feel like it looks a little bit, I'm going to even add a little bit more to this other side because I just feel like it just looks a little bit more like I've been out in the sun and I have some color kind of a thing because, you know, guys, I'm pretty fair. Okay. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? I just love this and just add it until you feel like you've had enough. I don't want to look clownish and in person, it actually looks okay. Um, on camera, sometimes I have to do a little bit more because otherwise the lights wash me out. Now, if you want to kick it up a notch, you really don't have to with these blushes, but if you want to, I'm going to show you anyways. You can just take a highlighter. This one's the uh, Celestial Light from Laura Mercier. I love this. I know you guys haven't seen me use it in a while because I like to mix things up on my channel, so it's not like I use the same things over and over again. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush like this, an eyeshadow brush. You don't want to use a lot. And if you have any lines or texture, don't do this. Okay, because it's going to add, it's going to draw more attention to that. But when you do it, it's just going to make you look even glowier. So I'm just going to take a little bit. And I just keep it right there. And I just, see how the light hits it? And it looks, your, just, your skin looks amazing. When I do this, people are always compliment my skin. And it's like, my skin is nice, but I'm wearing makeup. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it just looks, it just looks really natural and glowy and pretty. Okay, so before I get to my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this side. This is the MAC Fi Fix Plus. And I like to use this because it just melts all those powders in. And it just gives your skin a beautiful glow. And for me, it helps to keep my everything on too. Now, if I'm going to be outside in the heat and humidity, after this dries, I would go in and do a setting spray, kind of like the um, Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed one or whatever, okay? But the MAC Fix Plus, Chef's Kiss. I don't know anything that's as amazing as that on the market. And I do not contour. If you like to contour, you do you. But I've, I've shared my thoughts on that before. I mean, makeup is fun. Do whatever you want to do. I'm just sharing my personal opinion. Contouring is, was really created for people that are on stage or in photography because what it does is it creates shadows in areas for your face. And if you don't like the way your nose looks or your chin or whatever, and you're under the right lighting, with the lighting, because the lighting will create shadows too, it, it'll you know eliminate that look you know, kind of erase it a little bit, if you will. But in my personal opinion, everyday li life, I don't agree with it because it's going to look like you have a lot of makeup on. And I just like to look really fresh and polished. And I don't think that that looks fresh and polished in my personal opinion, but you do you. You do you. Okay. So now I'm going to do the eyeshadow and I'm going to show you how to create a really simple look. I don't do a lot of fancy looks on my channel because I feel like most of us at my age, I think some of you guys have a lot of fun with it, and sometimes I do too, but I don't have five hours to do my makeup, <laughs> okay? When I'm going to go someplace, I want to look pulled together and look real good. So I am going to go in and I'm going to use this color right here first. It's kind of like a medium color, and I like to use a nice fluffy brush, and I'm going to go in right above my crease, and I'll just kind of windshield wiper it like that. I feel like when I do my eyes like this, I, I'm adding more. Um, I feel like it's like I'm contouring my eyes, basically. And this is the uh, nude dress palette from Dior, by the way. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this angled brush from BK Beauty. And I'm going to take this darker color and this, like these two colors right here. The darker and that other color kind of mix the two and now I'm going to put that on the outer corner here because it's going to create a little bit of a lift on my outer corner and I like how it just kind of contours my eye so that's the only contouring I do is on my eyes I don't do any other uh, contouring 
This might seem like a lot, but it's not. You know, when I'm doing a video, I'm talking, it's taking a little bit, but if I, I like, I can do my makeup pretty quickly doing all this. This is not taking a lot of time in my opinion. The trickiest part about doing one eye first and then the other is making sure that you're balanced on both sides. <laughs> And sometimes, by the way, I will do my eyeshadow first before my foundation because sometimes I can get a little bit messy. So today I am not. So for my lid, I like to wear something that's a little bit brighter to kind of pop my eye. I'm going to go in with that peachy sh shadow right there, a shade, and I'm just going to take my finger and just pop it on. This is just how I like to do it. I don't like to use a brush for this. I just feel like when I use a color like this I feel like it really pops more when I use my finger as opposed to using a brush. Next I'm going to go ahead and take a color that's a little different. You guys are going to see me. Um, you guys know I love Barbara Le Brown from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is from uh, Chanel and it is in the color and I'll put the details below. It's in the color Rouge Noir. It's kind of a purpley black. But I feel like it's a nice neutral. It's kind of like it's not black, but it's not purple. It's kind of in between, and I really am digging it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this on. And the reason I like to put it there is because it makes my lashes look thicker. And then I will take it and put it right at my lash line. Like that. And make sure I'm scrubbing this so I'm getting it in. There we go. See how that makes it look like it's thicker? So now I'm going to take my smudge brush from BK Beauty. And I'm going to just really lightly blend this in. Now you can smudge it up more if you want to. But I'm just going to do just kind of really lightly. Now if you want to wing it out a little bit, what you can do... Is you can I'll put a little bit more right here at the end here just a little bit and I will take this angled brush from PK Beauty this is part of the Nikki La Rosa collection I don't really want much I just want like a little flick just like that and then you can so it's barely there like a barely there little flick it's really easy to do now I'm going to show you two ways of fixing your under eye I'm going to take this darker shadow right here and the smudger brush. Let's put a little bit on, tap it off a little bit, and then I'm just going to put it on like this. And when you do this, you're going to get a very nice soft look. If it seems like it's too pulled down because you don't want it to be pulled down, if you put too much too low, it's going to drag your eye down. So what you want to do is take a brush like this. This one's from Fit Club Beauty. And I'm just going to take this, the same one I used for, I think this is the one I used for my under eyes too. See, it just softens it up. Now, if you're like, I like to use a liner because that lasts longer than what you do, is you can line it first, really gently. But don't leave it because it just looks too harsh and unfinished. We want to look pulled together. We want it to look a little nicer than that. So we're going to take that smudger brush again, and I'm going to put a little bit of that darker shadow on that I used. And I'm going to go ahead and go right on top of it. And that way I'll kind of set that as well. And you'll still have your pencil. Now you can use something that's the same color I did, and it's a different color, but it's okay. Um, and I'm going to take that same brush again. I'm going to do the same thing I did. It's just lightly blend it and buff it out so it just softens it up because you just don't want it to look too harsh. Let's do the brows. I'm going to show you the quickest way to do brows. Super quick. So first I want to brush this up like that. Then I'm going to take a pencil like this. This one's from Tom Ford and I just like the way it's angled. I like to use a powder too. I like the one from RMS but I'm just using this one today. Okay, so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to first go right where my hairs end here on the beginning. So I'm just basically I'm tracing out my brows. So what I'm doing, 
And then I'm going to go on the top part, same thing, I'm just tracing it out. And I'm going to start filling it in. Now I'm going to start at the beginning, I'm going to twist it so it's, see how so it's that way? And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to soften this though because I don't want it to look like I have square brows. So, and I'm going to fill this in first, just like that. Now I'm going to take this brush. This one is from Chanel, and I will start to blend that, just like that, just to soften it. We don't want to take it off, but we want to soften it up. And I'm going to take that brush again and just kind of... I mean, super easy, right? And then you can either take a tinted gel, which I do use a tinted brow gel sometimes, or I will use a clear one. This one is from Rare Beauty. And I will apply my brow gel. Just like that. This is my wrapper lash curler. And then I'm gonna go in with the YSL. This is the YSL. Lash Clash number two, which is the brown. I like the brown. I just feel like it makes my eyes pop a little bit more. And I will start at the bottom, kind of wiggle up. And apply my mascara. And I will even get it a little bit more on the outer corner, too, because I feel like when you do that, it kind of lifts your eye up a little bit more as well. If you have small lips, you want to line your lips. And you want to go a little bit outside. I'm not telling you to go, like... You don't want to look like a circus clown, okay? Um, but like I have to even out my lips. And you don't want to draw it down because if you draw your lips down, you're going to pull your lips down. You want to plump them up. So first I'm going to take this down. On the bottom I will go down because they're pretty plump, I feel like. Now we're going to get to the upper. And we're going to start in the corner here. and do that. And then I'm going to start in this corner and do that. Now I'll stretch it a little bit too and I kind of look Okay. Now you can totally fill in your lips if you want to, and it will help you keep your lipstick on longer. Another way that keeps your lipstick on longer is using a lip brush. Cue the car. Hopefully, I probably took that out with my editing. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this. This is called, I think this is Coral Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use a couple different colors today, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I always like to wear a little bit of a gloss on my lips. I feel like glossy lips look more youthful looking and nicer than matte lips, especially on mature women, in my opinion. But you do you. If you like matte, then you wear it. And I like to wear a brighter color, as you can see. And I just like the, I like the difference between the lip liner and the lipstick. I kind of like contouring your, I don't know, or an ombre look maybe even, you know. It's going to say contouring your lips nice or saying ombre. So I could leave it like that. I could put a gloss on it, but I think I might put a little bit of this balm on and just brighten it up a little bit more. I like this. This is from Chanel, but it just, it doesn't wear well on me. I definitely would have to fill my lips in with lip liner and then apply this because just on its own, it doesn't. This is in the color Wake Up Pink. It does not look pink. <laughs> it looks more corally, but it's really pretty. Um, I really like it, 
But like I said, I just have to keep on reapplying it. I wouldn't purchase it again, but I love the color. So. It's kind of like adding a gloss because it's a little shiny. That's it. So now my lips look all even. They look plump. I feel like when you wear a glossy lip, it definitely, um, the light bounces off and it definitely makes your lips look plumper too as well. So this is it. This is my final, final look. So again, as you can see, my lip, my cheeks look more lifted. My eyes look lifted. My brows look lifted. I look pulled together and I look polished. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what my makeup looks like zoomed in. I turned my ring light off so you can really see my skin, what it looks like. So it doesn't look like I'm wearing a ton of heavy makeup or anything like that. It just looks really, really pretty. I do not ever touch my makeup up, ever. I don't do it. Another tip to give you is to make your makeup last longer besides powdering it besides putting on a setting spray even if you have if you have dry skin and you feel like it's not going to wear well you can put powder on just don't bake it just put a little bit on do the um fix plus it's going to be very hydrating for you and it's going to melt your makeup in so you're not going to look powdery i promise you the thing you want to do is make sure that you're not putting too much foundation on don't put too much on if you put too much foundation on it is not going to wear well. It's going to look like crap in a couple hours. It's going to look terrible. So less is best. All you want to do is even out your skin tone. And if you find that when you put not enough foundation on, you feel like you can still see maybe some redness, some discoloration, then there's a couple things you can do. You can either color correct those areas and then apply your foundation, or you can use a concealer that will conceal those areas, maybe if you have blemishes or whatever, conceal it and then put foundation on over it so you conceal those areas i would recommend using a cream concealer not a liquid one i feel like a cream one is going to melt into your skin better i feel like a liquid may sit on top of it and then when you put your foundation on it it'll probably wipe off so you want to put a cream on first in those areas let it sit for a little bit maybe five minutes or something and then apply your foundation you can do that and that way you're not putting on too much foundation as well but the only thing that I ever touch up is my lipstick and my lip liner and if we're in a gloss. I mean, basically my lips. That's the only thing that I touch up when I go out someplace, you know, eventually. Because you're, you know, I might be drinking or eating or whatever and I'll have to touch it up. But I don't mess with my makeup. My makeup is the way it is all day. I am, I don't bring makeup with me to touch up. I don't do it because my makeup stays on all day. I don't have to do that. And this is what I do. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that it was helpful. Um, as I said, I will leave everything below, but it's all about what I've shared with you. It's all in the you know technique. It's not really what I'm wearing, but I will put it below because I know a lot of you ask me all the time, like what lipstick or what eyeshadow are you wearing? I'll leave it all below in the, in the description below. And thank you so much for joining me. Hope that you enjoy this. If you are new here, I would really love to have you join. I share new videos every single week. Please consider smashing that subscribe button below. It is free. And to all my OGs, all my new subscribers, thank you so much. I really, truly, and genuinely appreciate each and every one of you for taking time out of your day to hang out with me. I really, truly do. Before you leave, I would really, really appreciate it if you would make sure that if you did enjoy this, that you like the comment, that they like the video, leave a comment, share my videos. It helps to push them out and I would truly appreciate it. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.